Hi, my name is Caroline and welcome to my wine cellar. As you can see, I love to collect bottles of wine. I am pleased to present this video in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com. When I get invited to holiday gatherings, I love to bring a bottle of wine from my wine cellar. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a wine bottle cover. These make great hostess gifts and add that extra special touch. For this project, you will need at least a third of a yard of Christmas fabric or any kind of fabric you want to use, ribbon, and also your wine bottle. The tools you'll need for this project include scissors, pins, your handy dandy sewing machine, iron, ironing board, some sort of measuring element, and something to mark your fabric with. The first step is to measure your wine bottle. Most of my wine bottles from my wine cellar are about 12 inches tall and about 9.5 to 10 inches in circumference. The instructions I wrote are for a wine bottle of this size. If your wine bottle is a different size, then please adjust accordingly. The next step is to cut out your fabric. The first piece of fabric you'll need to cut out is a circular piece that is 4 inches in diameter. I have made this project a little bit easier if you download my PDF. There is a 4 inch diameter cutout that pattern that you can use and all you have to do is cut it out and then pin it onto your fabric and just cut around. And you'll have a 4 inch diameter circular fabric. Voila! First piece is cut. The next piece of fabric that you'll need to cut will have to be 13 and a half inches tall by 12 inches wide. So what I'm going to do here is I have a cutout that is 13 and a half inches and I'm going to cut a 12 inch piece with it. So I just use my ruler measuring element. I'm going to use my chalk to make a outline it and then cut it. So as you can see this this part is 13 and a half inches and this side is 12 inches. So you see this project is really simple. It only requires one rectangular piece of fabric 13 and a half by 12 inches and one circular piece of fabric that's 4 inches in diameter. That's all the cutting you need to do. The next step is to finish the top edge. So I'm going to take the side that's 13 and a half inches and fold it down by a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch which will make a very nice finish on the top of this wine bag. Now if you want to skip a couple of steps and you happen to have your serger handy you can also just serge the top of this wine bag. So the first couple of bags I did I have a serger and I just serge the top just to make an even finish on the top but you are certainly you're certainly welcome to do that. If you don't have a serger handy I recommend you make a nice top finish by folding and pressing a quarter of an inch on, this, on the top edge of your fabric. And then you repeat for another quarter of an inch. And this will create a very nice top edge for your wine bottle cover. So now you will see that you have one side that's 13 inches because you folded it down a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch and then your other side which will be the bottom will be 12 inches. So now that I've folded over my top edge I'm going to simply finish it by top stitching that top edge. Okay. 
好了。So the next step is to finish the side. So we finished off our top edge, as you can see here. And these are our side edges right here. So I'm going to put the two right sides together. And I'm going to sew along this edge to finish the side. I will use a half inch seam allowance. Start by back stitching. Finish by back stitching. And I have made, finished off my side. So the next step is to finish the bottom. So I have finished off the side, I finished off the top, and I've made this nice little cylinder. Now I need to attach the bottom to the bottom of my wine bottle cover. Now to do this, I am going to pin it in place and then sew it. So I'm taking my round piece we cut earlier and I am pinning in place. Now I'm going to sew it in place with a half inch seam allowance. And voila! Now we have the bottom of our wine bag. I'm going to turn it inside out now. Alright, here comes the easy part. I'm going to finish this wine bottle cover. I'm going to insert wine bottle into the cover. Then I'm going to finish it off with a bow or just a knot. I recommend about 13 to 15 inches worth of ribbon. And I'm just going to tie it, try to tie it right at the base of the neck. And voila, here is your wine bottle cover, hostess gift for this holiday season. I am pleased to present this video in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com.